Hi loves and welcome to the channel. I'm Erica. I am a psychic medium and a prophetess. I hope that everyone is doing it so, so good at this time. Um, I, well, you guys have seen the title, so you guys already know why you're here. So, um, I just keep like getting, okay. So first of all, this is for divine union counterparts for a lot of you guys who have, you know, come to the channel, not everyone, obviously, but we have a lot of twin flames here. And I feel this is like a message for the twin flames. Um, but it doesn't have to be because you know, you could have a soul connection with someone where a part of like the, you know, your paths as, as a soul contract or whatever you want to call it was to come back together and like reawaken each other, you know, but with twin flames, it's highly activating. That's why it's like physically impossible when you meet your twin in the physical, like it fizzles out very quickly, like within like a few months of like dating or like talking or like seeing each other or whatever the case, because it's too activating. It's too powerful. That's why we go into a separation mode where we go on our own journey of healing back to self, you know? So this is going to be for those of you guys that titles aside, this is going to be for those of you guys that, um, have a divine counterpart out there, a divine masculine, you know, you probably started watching tarot for this person or you were led to the tarot, I should say, for the because of this connection. Because the tarot is meant to be a tool to teach you, just like a lot of other things that you were guided to and people, etc. Um, the word twin flame, things like that. If you've been in a separation from this person for like a year or more, this is more than likely for sure, like a message for you. Um, this is definitely not like, oh, you know, we broke up, um, or, or we stopped talking a few months ago or something, you know, it's not that this is like someone you've been in a separation from for like a long time or for a good amount of time, more than likely no, like a no contact situation. Um, open up. Yeah. Um, this, this masculine, um, they, okay. So the masculines are, they're going through like such accelerated awakening right now. And it's like, just been like so crazy for them and so explosive for them in their lives in a lot of ways. They are making choices and decisions from the heart. Um, and that's giving them strength to take action on the decisions and choices that they've been avoiding. Okay. Um, there is a massive, massive, massive wave of Kundalini um, activity happening here between the feminine and the masculine. You guys are both feeling this. So those of you guys who are like getting ready to come into a physical union, you're feeling the Kundalini um really fiery, really rising from your base chakra, from the base part, like, you know, like your, um, your, uh, sensual areas. Okay. Is what we'll call it. There's a lot of activity happening there and it is activating a sacred sexual, like, or like a yearning, like a longing, like a needing, but it almost feels like you guys are feeling each other very strongly physically, even though you're not, even though you're apart physically. So the attraction is like a million fold. The, the, the yearning and magnetization to be reconnected physically is like out of this world. And this person is feeling it too, like crazy. So it's like, seriously, you guys, like this person is feeling like, they're feeling the divine love so like so much. It's a flood. It's an, it's a rising of like love and nostalgia and warmth and happiness and safety. And like all these feelings that this person is feeling about this connection. Oh my gosh. Mother Mary just like mother Mary governs the heart chakra. You guys so like seriously, like what the heck? Okay, and she's like the cosmic mother. She's all about the love, you know? 
I think she was just confirming like, yeah, yeah, the heart is super open and the heart is ready to talk. This person is ready to speak from the heart. They are planning something here. Um, and what I'm getting is like, it's not in the, it's like they're all up in the fields and they're, they're manifesting very heavily. Like they're dreaming of what life will look like with you. They're dreaming of like, you know, there, first of all, there's a lot of dream activity too between the two of you guys, especially if you're about to come into a physical union. There's going to be some very intense interactions happening um, between the two of you guys in the astral. And it'll like be pretty consistent. You know, maybe not every single night when you sleep, but like, uh, uh, you know, I'd say like three, four nights out of seven nights, you know, like that. They just keep showing up and they're very aware of this as well. Okay, it is actually like being with you in the astral is inspiring them to, it's fueling the feel, because it's like they wake up and it's like they were just with you. And then they wake up and they're sad because they're not with you. It wasn't, you know, it. but it, they're, they're in a place now where they're discerning between what dreams are and what like serious like astral travel, meeting up with my twin flame or my, you know, in the in the astral like it feels different there's a difference you can discern between the difference and those of you guys you know who've been astral traveling or are, are aware of your astral travels and things of this nature then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about when i say that i'm hearing beyond space and time yeah this person is jones in for you look at that see i told you they're manifesting look at the magician so they're 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 really like, um, they're really in this magician energy where they're like more in control. They're feeling more powerful. They're feeling in their power. They're realizing that they have the tools. They have everything they need to like manifest a union. Um, I feel like this is representative almost like the, um, even though it's blue, I feel this is representative right here of both of your Kundalini's rising and then coming here because you guys are connected as one. And literally we have the number one here with the magician energy. Manifest. This person is in a very powerful manifestation mode and the manifest and what they're manifesting, they're manifesting no longer with fear and doubt and worry, like their abandonment. Like they're no longer manifesting like that. They are now manifesting from the heart, from the soul. They're manifesting with a lot of power and energy. Um determination they're very determined i'm seeing the chariot card in my mind's eye they're very determined to be with you to to come together to fulfill your soul mission because who i'm talking about this masculine like they're having epiphany moments they're like coming back into like very big realizations of who they are and like who you are. Like it's almost like for so long they couldn't figure you out, okay? So, and what I mean by that is they couldn't figure out why they felt the way they did towards you. Why out of like everyone they've ever like dated or been with or talked to or, you know what I mean? They've always been able to disconnect, cut the cord and be like, I'm out of here, you know? And like shut it down, but not with you. And with you, you, you didn't show them like regular karmic, like chasing codependent, like, you know, you showed them strength and love and understanding. And like, when they pulled away, you said, okay, like, all right. Okay. So you were a mystery to this person because they didn't know how to like respond to that or like how to handle that. You know, this is someone who typically in life, right? They like to be in control. So when they uh, when they are approached by a situation or something that makes them feel out of control, they are not going to more than likely want to connect with that anymore. You know, they're gonna be like, no, I'm out of here. I'm hearing recognition and reward. This person really wants to feel, um, like the let, like the 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 empress vibe that you give off, they really want to feel that from you. 
And it's not like a siphoning I want to take from you energy. It's a, it's a, I know that like, I know that you are my soulmate or I know you're my twin flame and I feel like I'm meant to be and I want to be and I need to be around you and experience this love and I want you to experience this love that I have to give. See, the bottom of the deck here as I look down is embrace. This is like the world card. They're embracing the new version of self. See all of this like activation activity happening all around them and within them. Okay, so like just, this is confirmation that like, cause it's like crazy that we got like the magician and then the world card, the only card we're missing in between is the fool. This divine masculine is taking control of their world. So you, you guys activated one another and you started like shifting and rising and ascending and, you know, healing and like awakening. Like you started like going through this like very rapidly. Um, I just saw 11, 11 and 11, 12 as I looked over. Um, it's like, right, like they activated you and then they, then they ran. Okay. So you really had to like, come into your power and like come into your own, right? And you have mirrored that back to this person for however long. And now it's like, it's all coming full circle because this person understands that you were mirroring to them what they were meant to become. Like you were mirroring to them um, a map, a guide of how to get back into your power, take control of your life and complete like, you know, karmic cycles and learn lessons. Okay. Can we give one more, please? This person is head over heels in love with you. This person only has eyes for you. Like it doesn't matter if you guys haven't talked for however long, like I'm going to say, like I said, six months, a year, more than that for a lot of you guys. There's been more than likely no communication or if it has, if there has been, it's been like broken. It's been very broken and like few and far between. It's like this person is ready to come in and treat you like the queen, the empress, the goddess that you are. And if you're a masculine watching this, it's the same thing. Like they want to show up for you. And you show up, you know, and you'll show up for them. But they want to be there for you. Like this is someone who is stepping very, very, very much into their truth and into the role that they came here to earth to, to, to be. The heart chakra. Exactly. Exactly. What did I say? They are doing, they are operating from the heart. Their heart is so open, so activated. And when they come forward, like, or, or, you know, cause they're manifesting something big here with that magician and then the world card, they are, they're wanting a clean slate. They are wanting to take a leap of faith. They have, they have gone through awakening. Like they are seeing eyes wide open. They, they feel that. They feel that like power couple vibe between the two of you guys. And I just keep hearing like, we belong together. We belong together. Like that's what this person is thinking over and over and over again. There's a whole lot of love here. You guys, both of your heart chakras are, are like beaming towards each other through the ethers. Like they are so connected. And I feel for who I'm talking to, like for a lot of you guys, you can feel the love. And you know what? When this person comes in, you're going to have a feeling of, I knew it. Like this is going to give you some kind of like big confirmation and validation. Like, I just want to say to you, like, no, you're not crazy. No, you're not making this stuff up. I know you guys like how it can be sometimes like <clears throat> when you're getting all of the signs and the communication and the music and the songs and then like nothing's happening. Or like something happens in the 3D that like totally throws you off that makes you feel like, okay, I guess I was way off. I've, I've personally experienced that 
throughout my journey, but also I've witnessed it for a lot of you guys too, that are like my clients and stuff. I want you to know that the 3D doesn't matter because that is like, that's just the play. That's just a play. It's a, it's an act, right? They're just trying to keep up the illusion. That's all, you know? Okay, so you're about to find out, like you're about to get massive validation confirmation. Like not that you're like needing that, but you're just naturally gonna receive it. Like everything that you felt, this person felt towards you and about this, like the whole time, like they're gonna tell you openly from the heart, yes, I'm embracing this journey. I'm embracing this, you know, this new chapter, this new path. I'm embracing this union, like you, like I, they're embracing everything. And the Kundalini rising, like the Kundalini energy between the two of you guys right now is intense, you guys, it is intense. I'm just letting you guys know because if you're new here, you know, I, I ch I'm a, ch you know, an op uh, I'm, a, I'm a wide open channel in the way that like I receive messages and downloads specifically for the twin, twin flame collective, because I am a twin flame on the twin flame journey, twin flame star seeds. Like we hold certain information codes, wisdoms, um, that we brought here to earth, you know, from our soul, like wisdom, Akashic records, whatever you want to say to share here um, in regards to the journey and a lot of twin flames, you know, um, they've become readers or Reiki healers or something along the lines to where they can connect with people and share about the journey and be the teacher that they kind of came here to be, right? Like a, like a lot of readers, they can like, they can like pull on the energy, but they only get certain access to the energy. You know what I mean? Like because twin flame stuff is very sacred. So, okay. So my point is, is if like you're on the journey, like, um, this should be exact on point for you. <laughs> like it should be like exact on point. Okay. Um, I don't know, but I'm getting like July 23rd and June 9th. Okay, so those, those can be like birthdays. Those can be special dates for, you know, this connection. Okay, let's get one more. The throat chakra, wow. The heart and the throat in general are just so connected, right? Like they, they basically, right? Like it's like the heart and then the throat chakra. They're so connected, so in tune with each other. Oftentimes when one of them is blocked, the other one's blocked, like just different things like that. Because when you're not speaking from your heart, your throat is blocked, right? And if you're not like living in a place of love, then you're not living fully in your truth. And this divine masculine has been doing both. So did you, that's what you've been healing though. That's what the lessons, you know, that's what, you're, that's what you've been learning. This person has learned it now too. We have 45 or 54, breaks down to a nine. So for me, it's like, there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of authentic, genuine truth. I'm hearing the word exposure, being revealed, exposed, um, confessed to you. And it's all coming from the heart. And this is someone, again, who is coming from a tapped in to source place, okay? Um, the Kundalini, I just, I can't like, though, that's what I was going to say is you, some of you guys out there right now, like you might have like a full on Kundalini activation. Um, and those can be very <laughs> intense, very wild. Um, and they can last sometimes for hours or a, like a long while, you know, um, this came back again as I was shuffling. I saw it a second. Okay, so this divine masculine wants you to know that they are moving on. <clears throat> they are moving on. They they're they've completely changed their life. They're changing their life. They've their whole world just like flipped upside down. Okay, and this person is like seriously like daydreaming of you like nonstop with the magician. They are manifesting with their third eye because they're looking out to their future and future timelines and they're envisioning what that looks like with you. Like everything that they're like thinking of, it has to do with you. It's very nostalgic, very daydreamy, very emotional. There's a lot of love. 
See, and then after the moving on, look who shows up. Someone who's taking the lead and it's the emperor, divine masculine. So this is like the born anew masculine, the rebirth masculine, who's like wearing his beautiful crown. He's got his plan of action here. This is the old one, he, the old version that they're leaving behind. The one that was like, you know, running, the one that was like in karmic relationships or, or karmic loops, like that's who they're leaving behind. This is like the, the old version of themselves who has gone through the death cycle and this is the rebirth here and this is who's coming towards you. See? And then the next card is balance, number 14. This is like uh, Sagittarius. This is like the temperance card, which yeah, is Sagittarius in the, in the major arcana. But in this one, look at it. It's like the balance of feminine masculine. This is about unity, consciousness, hieroscamos union. Like this is you guys, like it's like, cause balance is, yeah, it's balance, it's temperance. It's like things are balancing out. You guys have been balancing your, yourselves out, which has balanced out the connection, which is allowing the frequency to be high enough to allow the gates of union to even be open. This is about coming together in the heavens, soul, uh, soul marriage here, okay? This is about as above, so below. So you guys are in soul marriage in the ethers. Now it's about things balancing out and coming to fruition, divine timing in the 3D. Okay. So I just want to get some messages from this person. And I'm going to use one of my message. Well, it's actually two of my message decks that I decided to just blend together a while ago. Um, so we're going to get some messages and I'm going to leave it here, okay? So, um... Look at this. As I look down, this is like totally emperor energy right here. It says ready to align action to words. Okay, I'm keeping that one. These two, I accidentally like my, my sleeves are kind of like, you know, long. Like it's like a baby doll, like, you know, a uh, summery like flower shirt. Anyways, <laughs> that matters. But my sleeves are long and they like knocked it off when it was sitting like over here. And then these were the ones I picked up off the ground. Look at this, you guys. Check this out. I am separating, moving on. I am separating from the karmic. I have reached the end of my rope. Hashtag the world card. <gasps> OMG, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. And this is like coming through so strong. Like the passionate, sensual, divine, kundalini, like fiery, like I've got to have you because you we belong together. And right now we're aligning to our heavenly timelines and on those timelines, we are together. So it's the pull towards each other, the magnetization, especially the masculine towards the feminine right now. And it's like so insane. And the masculine is the one that has to come forward. This is a part of like their final like lessons as far as like that ego within love, you know? I get hard just thinking of you. I have to be careful. Okay, wow. Okay. And then, oh, that's the other one I got. Okay, so make sure. So I'm just going to give these like a good little, I mean, I'm just going to shuffle a bit. <laughs> so anyways, my loves, I love you guys so much. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, whether that's like a general psychic reading or I also am a past life Akashic reader. I offer a 20 minute event sesh. Like if you just like a new talk and like, you know, you have no one to talk to cause like, you know, everyone's gonna think you're crazy because you're like awakening and they're not. That's what that's for. Um, and then also I offer um, energetic, intuitive, like quantum healing. And that's like a mixture of different things, Reiki and light language, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's very powerful. Anyways, I would be honored to work with any of you guys, of course, always. I love you guys for all of your love and support. Those of you guys who interact with the channel, it means the absolute world to me. And just know that that's good karma. It'll come back to you tenfold because you are helping, you know, the sole mission of another earth angel grow. You're helping the channel grow. So thank you, Mia Moors. Um, and if you want to join our... Um, 7-7 portal activation workshop, which I will be posting that today over on the community page. And you'll hear, I've been talking about it um, over the last few days, etc. It is going to be very powerful. It is, we are going to the temples of ancient Egypt. We are working with Isis, Hathor, Mahat, and um, 
the Syrian energy, Syrian star nation, and the Lyrans. And we will also have the dragon forces with us, the dragon energy and dragon fire. Um, and this is the ninth activation workshop and healing workshop that I've done. Um, and I um, called to them on certain portal dates. I haven't had one since the 3-3 portal. This is the 7-7 seven, seven portal one. This is huge because this is lining us up with the 8-8 eight, eight portal energy, Lion's Gate, um, which is why I feel the Lyrans are coming through so very strongly as well. Um, but it's literally, it's held on Zoom. Tickets are $44 USD. Um, it's usually an hour and a half to two hours, just, you know, depending on the session. I don't know. Um, I am guided and I channel um, with Isis, Hathor, etc. And they guide me um, through a channeled activation meditation and astral travel experience where we transport ourselves basically through meditation to the ancient temples. And I will guide you guys. We will go into the temples and that is where we will be holding space and ceremony um, and receiving the activations and a lot of clearing, cord cutting, and a lot of protection work energy as well. Um, and then of course, like we always have like open talk forum, like where we get to share, what was your experience? What did you feel? What happens? Like, I, I just have to say, and I'm very modest. Like I don't share, um, I'm not, I've never been that person to like post everywhere. Like my, you know, from my clients, like, um, their feedback and like their testimonies, but I should, because it's something to be proud of. And these workshops, people have literally been like, you know, like they felt so depressed. And then after that, it was just gone, you know, like a dark cloud just lifted, like they just felt better, happier, or someone who had chronic, you know, chronic pain throughout their body, um, very serious, um, you know, things going on with their vertebrae and their spine, just gone, the pain just dissipated, gone after the healing workshop. And I don't know the logistics of all of it, you know, but I'm not saying it's gonna happen for you. What I'm saying is like, there's miraculous energies that come through with these quantum sessions and these workshops and the guides um, and deities that come through and help me channel this, this information to you guys and these activations to you. So anyways, if you feel called, just shoot me an email at gypsycowgirltarot at gmail.com and we will get you set up, okay? And I wanna know how everyone's feeling today because seriously, you guys, since last night, I just saw 27, 27, 9, 9. Um, since last night and all day today, and I've been working all day, I've like, I've done two client readings today, I've done some recordings, and then I had a like hour and a half or almost two hour healing session um, with one of my clients. And you know, I'm used to this kind of work and I'm like so tired. But since last night and then all day today, I can feel I'm going through a massive ascension again. I don't even know how many I've had this month, probably like six, seven, or eight, just in June so far that have been like so intense. This one feels different. This one feels, I can feel. So all day long, you know how like when you get ear angels and you hear the high pitch, like it sounds like angels singing, you know, like that high pitch, like singing of angels. That's what I've been hearing all day long. Like it won't go away. It's like all around me, in my ears, in my head, in my energy field. Um, and then I keep getting downloads. And every time a download comes in, my both my ears go completely like deaf, like I can't hear. So it's powerful. And I know these downloads and these activations or, or um, upgrades that I'm receiving, these Ascension upgrades, uh, it's intense and it's powerful. And that's why I'm so exhausted. So let me know, and it's been like that for like, you guys, like seriously, it's been like that for a while, but just over the last like few days, four days maybe, it's been intense with the sun, with the sun energy and the ascension energy. So, and the masculines are feeling it too, okay? And you guys know, like if you guys are new here, like I am not the reader to just come on here and pump out cards to get views and, you know, then do extendeds on every reading just to get money. Like that is not me at all. <laughs> I am here with the messages when they come through. Um, and I, you know, I'm a teacher, I'm a guide, so I share a lot. So again, I'm not just like about the message in the cards. I'm going to channel anything that comes through. I feel like too much has happened and you won't want me. That's that fear that they're leaving behind. That's that old version of self. 
because we have the world card energy twice here in this readings, two different decks, one of my decks and then from that one. I haven't seen the light yet. I'm still swimming in the darkness. Hashtag the devil. This is their shame. This is their shame. That's the message. They know, they recognize now that, that they were like standing back in the darkness, which isn't like a bad thing, right? Because we have to move through the darkness to get to, uh, get to the, our light, right? But they, they've held shame around that. Like they know that, that you, they feel like you were looking at them like this whole time, like, oh, you're just stuck in darkness and you know, you've chosen like this, but it's like, you guys, like seriously, like I can't stand when I see those comments of like, um, you know, like when a divine feminine plays victim because their masculine went for someone else or went back to someone else, like, oh, they chose this person over me. And there's like anger and resentment in the tone and in the message. Obviously it's, it's a trigger, which otherwise it wouldn't be put right. But I'm like, these masculines don't owe the feminine anything. They're just on their journey, just like the divine feminine. They're just learning lessons, you know? And if they went that route with a third party karmic, it's because either they had a soul contract with that karmic from a past life that they needed to balance and clear. And a lot of them have, or they aligned they or they called someone in who was the same low vibrational frequency as them and had similar maybe lessons to learn or similar um you know karmic bondage or whatever and then they had to work it out that way whatever the case is is that the point is is that, that these masculines they went and worked it out and healed themselves somewhere else because they couldn't do that with you does that make sense because you're a divine counterpart like you said no like you know, go, go handle your business. And if they just up and ghosted you and left you without you like saying a word, like that's because they were triggered by the frequency, the energy, the love of this connection. So they went where it was safe, comfortable and easy. Right. And then they went through lessons. Me and my children loved you. We all miss you. Okay. So for those of you guys where there's children involved, and again, for me, it's just this person just views you as like the perfect like partner, like mother, father, like we loved you, like my children loved you. Like, you know, I think about it now and like what it would be like to just all like be a family together and be together and to be with you. Like, it's like that. Okay, and then we have some like sinks here. C-J-V-M-R-I-L-N-K-Q, 888-222-555. 8, 16, 7, 33, 38, 43, 17, 22, 3, 21, and 12. <laughs> and as I look down, look, we have 21 right here. The world card, yeah. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's get one more and then I'll let you guys go. I am still in the third party. I am sorry for involving you. Okay, so this could be something that this person maybe communicates to you, like, because I can tell you right now, whoever this is, you guys, they, you're going to be hearing from this person soon, 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 and you'll, you'll also feel it. This is like, you're also getting the Kundalini activation. You're feeling it in your lower chakras. You're feeling that sexual union energy rising up like an inferno within you. And you're feeling that that like passionate energy towards your counterpart. And they're feeling it too. You could be having like, you know, sexual dreams with them coming together like in union in that way. Which I would think probably for a lot of you guys that's the case. You know, meeting up in the astral. I just want to get a message or two from this deck too. Let's just see.
I think for some of you guys, this person has made contact, you know, maybe while they were in the third party. And obviously the divine feminine, I very strongly, you stood your ground. Like you were like welcoming and like accepting of the communication, but you also gave off an energy of boundaries of like, hello, how are you? But this isn't going any further than this because you also still have some stuff going on on your end. And I think this is kind of for some of you guys what that means. Like, I'm so sorry. You know, I reached out to you while I was in, you know, a third party. I looked down after shuffling, look, and it says, I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. So it's like every breath they take, it's like they just want to talk to you so bad. Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. Being away from you hurts like hell, and I didn't realize it would be this difficult. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Wow. Last card here, you guys. I swear. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. There it is. See? This divine masculine has gone through a rebirth. They are ready. Like he's, he's mapped out some type of plan, communication, like what he wants to say, how he feels. And what I'm receiving is the masculine is thinking to himself or herself, like it's actually just very quite simple. See, because they've always been living in the ego and like that energy, anytime it came to like talking about feelings or emotions, they went all like into like a strategized plan mode. Like, okay, you gotta think what you gotta say because it was almost like it wasn't real, it wasn't authentic. When something is coming from the heart and the soul and it's just real and authentic, it's so easy. It's just so organic, it's so easy. You don't have to think about it. It just naturally flows from your heart and out through your mouth, you know, into words. And so this masculine is like thinking like, it's actually very quite easy now from where I was before to now, like now it's like, I want to, I can't wait to like speak truth to you. It's like that. They have so much they want to share with you. Um, you know, they want to talk about like what's been going on with them. They want to talk about their successes in life and, you know, things that have taken place and they want to share everything with you. They really just want to be one with you. So, Anyways, my loves, this is what I've got for you. I send love. Thank you so much for your for your loving support here on the channel. I hope you have a beautiful day. Happy cancer season. Happy birthday to my cancers. Um, and I think that's it, loves. All right. Mwah.